friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, it's Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I have a little bit, well a lot of it, different grocery haul for you today. You're going to see a shift in the foods that I'm purchasing based on my medical testing results. I shared all about my results and what you're what you'll see moving forward here on my channel in last Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so I'll post that video down below for you if you haven't seen it. But before we jump into the grocery haul, today's video is actually sponsored by a small business on Etsy. She makes homemade grocery totes or shopping bags, as well as fun, beautiful car charms and necklaces. You guys know I love supporting small businesses, especially as we move closer to the holidays. She went ahead and sent me one of her custom totes. This is absolutely stunning. It has this really pretty elephant on the front of it, beautiful beads up in the, by the handle and it's a canvas tote. I don't know about you, but in my state in Washington, we're now charged about nine cents for bags at the grocery store. I've always been into using reusable bags anyways, but even more so now that we're charged for bags. So this came at the perfect time. They're absolutely affordable, right around $10. It supports a small business, again, over on Etsy. She has tons of different patterns and designs. She's willing to customize the tote bags for you. And I love this. This came in very handy today when I brought all my groceries in from Walmart pickup. And like I mentioned, she makes other really fun, quick, easy stocking stuffers or gifts. These are some beautiful necklaces that she makes. They are patterned on both sides. These are absolutely beautiful. You'll see that I have one of the ones that she sent me hanging in my car as a car charm over my rear view mirror. They're just really pretty. Again, you can use these as necklaces or really whatever you would like to use these as. Also, she has actual car charms that are made out of felt. So it's really simple, lightweight that you can hang from your rear view mirror or again, use these for whatever you would like. She's offering a really special promotion just for you guys. Help her grow her business over the holidays. I'll go ahead and put all of the promotion details here on the screen for you. And of course, I'll list everything down in the description box. But again, it's a great way to support a small business over the holidays. The tote bag, in my opinion, are a necessity. Helps with the planet. They're reusable. They're adorable. And again, she has tons of different patterns of the car charms, the necklaces, the tote bags. Definitely check her out over on Etsy. And thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. I am thrilled to be able to help you grow your small business. So let's go ahead and jump in to this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. This week I did Walmart grocery pickup. It was very simple just to pick everything up from Walmart. You're going to see a little bit of a shift in the foods that I am purchasing because I am starting my more anti-inflammatory, low carb, high protein, lower fat diet. So you're going to see some of my new staples. So I'm excited to share that with you. So let's jump into the grocery haul. The first thing I picked up is a big pack of my favorite eggs from the Happy Egg. I plan on doing lots of hard boiled eggs and eggs for breakfast. A big box of the Party Little Bites. These are for Troy's lunch. He likes having these little muffins in his lunch. It just makes a quick, easy, pre-portioned out snack. And FYI, the value pack is a much, much better deal than these small boxes. He also asked for ranch dressing. And I've heard really good things about this Bob's Famous Ranch country style dressing and dip. And we also need ranch for our little Christmas get together. I think I told you guys about it, but we're having some friends over on Saturday and we're doing Christmas themed appetizers and snacks. So you'll see that on my Instagram. I'll make sure that I put some pictures and stuff up on my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, definitely come follow me. You can keep up with me a little bit more day to day there, but we do need some dip for the vegetable tray that I'm making. I'm also making homemade guacamole because we'll do salsa, guacamole, 
for the whole red and green vibe. So I went ahead and just grabbed two packages of guacamole mix. I wasn't sure how much I would need for the large amount of avocados that I'll be making. I'm also doing these cute little wrapped smokies. Again, I'll share all of the pictures and everything on my Instagram. So I picked up beef smokies. My favorite chicken apple sausage is the Sam's Choice. Nice, clean ingredients, only two points per link. Big, huge link. And they are just so, so good. I really like the ingredients. Now it does have quite a bit of sodium, about 680 milligrams. And I do like to watch my sodium as well. I just make sure that I drink lots and lots of water when I have these for part of my breakfast or lunch. Pound of 99% extra lean ground turkey. This is for me for my lunches and dinners. A couple of cheeses, some light Fiesta blend for me, and then Parmesan. We always have Parmesan on hand. For Troy's lunch this next week, I'm making him little mini calzones. I actually meal prepped these a while ago. The recipe is on my website for the ones that I made, and he really liked those. So we've been doing them periodically for his lunch. So this week we're going to do pepperoni, mushroom, olive, really just easy, quick little pizza pocket type of things. Low fat ricotta cheese. This is for a dinner recipe. Also a can of low sodium cream and mushroom soup. This is for dinner, for a dinner recipe. And I actually ordered the healthy request and they substituted for the lower sodium, which is actually even better. Lots of yogurt. So one of my approved yogurts was the Too Good because it is lower in sugar and it has a lot of protein in it. And again, I need to watch my sugar, but I also wanna be mindful of ingredients. So this is a good option if you want cleaner ingredients, lower sugar, and lots of protein. So I actually grabbed a couple vanilla, blueberry, the mango hibiscus, and the mixed berry. Light string cheese for me. This is such a great snack paired with some fruit or some lunch meat or even some nut butter. Speaking of lunch meat, I did grab a pack of the hickory turkey deli meat. Again, this is for me just for roll-ups and quick, easy, high protein snacks. Beans is another thing I really need to focus on to get in fiber as well as protein. So I picked up a can of kidney beans and also a can of black beans. One of the dessert or sweet treat options that was recommended to me is to mix cottage cheese. So I have my low fat good culture with sugar-free jello and that makes it a sweet treat, but it's also packed with protein. So I did pick up a couple of sugar-free jellos, the strawberry, and then the Starburst cherry. This sounds so delicious. It's a sauce for Troy's little pizza pocket. Some mild, thick, and chunky salsa. This is for our little Christmas get together. I like my idea of the red salsa and the green guacamole. Another great sweet treat or dessert option that was highly recommended were sugar-free popsicles. So I saw that they had the colors from natural sources, sugar-free tropical popsicles. So I grabbed those. I figure the lesser of two evils, at least the color is from a natural source. And also the no sugar added fudge pops. This is another suggestion. I actually really like these and it has been a long time since I bought them. Large black olives. This is for my veggie tray that I'm making for the Christmas get together. Sliced olives for Troy's pizza pocket. I forgot to show you, I picked up a third can of beans, pinto beans. That way I have quite a big variety. We were out of mustard. So I grabbed the organic yellow mustard. Two boxes of lemon quick cook jello pudding. This is for this week's meal prep for dessert. A can of crescent rolls for a recipe for our Christmas get together. I'm really excited to share with you guys the cute recipes that I came up with. Two cans of the Pillsbury pizza crust. One of these is for the Christmas party and the other one of these is for Troy's pizza pockets. Onion soup mix for a dinner recipe and I also like to make yogurt dip with the Greek yogurt in this. It adds just a nice flavor and then you get in all the protein and the lower sugar from the Greek yogurt. We were completely completely out of saltine crackers, so I picked up another box. And then lots and lots of produce. That's really what I need to focus on is real whole food, lots of fruits and vegetables. I also just placed an Imperfect Foods order and ordered quite a bit more produce from them. So I'll share that haul with you guys in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. But from Walmart, I picked up two stems of green onions. One of these is for a dinner recipe and then the other one is for salads for the week. Mushrooms for Troy's Pizza Pocket. A cute cucumber for snacking, lemon for a recipe, a green and red bell pepper for a recipe as well as for snacking, shredded lettuce for my lunch meal prep, and then for salads, I decided to go with a butter lettuce salad as well as romaine, and then I picked up some baby spinach and kale mix that I can mix in with the two lettuce, and I also like to pop these into smoothies as well as my eggs in the morning. Just get 
some greens in. You can't even taste it, especially in the smoothie. And I can put a huge handful in my eggs in the morning and it just wilts down to pretty much nothing. So I really like having spinach and kale on hand. Frozen chopped spinach. This is for a dinner recipe. A huge head of cauliflower for the Christmas party. I'm really excited for this cute little Christmas themed vegetable tray that I'm making. I needed tomatoes for a dinner recipe as well as for my lunch meal prep. Since I'm using all my avocados that I have on hand for guacamole, I decided to pick up another pack. I really like having avocados as my good fat for the day. Some basil for a couple of recipes and I also like to pop basil into my salads. And then for fruits, I went with berries just because they're a lower carb, much less impact on the glycemic index in your blood sugar. So I have some organic blackberries and then a huge pack of organic blueberries. I did order some extra fruit from Imperfect Foods as well. So that is everything for this week's grocery haul. Let's go ahead and jump in. What I'll be making for dinners as well as what you'll see on Monday for meal prep. Here's what is on my meal plan for the week. So today, Saturday, is our little Christmas party, Christmas get together with our friends. And then Sunday I'm doing caprese chicken. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so stay tuned for that. Monday, I'm going to pop a roast in my crock pot. Tuesday is a leftover night. Wednesday, I'm doing an instant pot lasagna. And then I'm doing leftovers both Thursday and Friday because I find that we have quite a few leftovers from our dinners earlier in the week, and I don't want them to go to waste. So I'm going to incorporate an additional leftovers night during the week. And then here's what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So for breakfast this week, I am doing an egg scramble. Again, I'm heavily protein focused, so you're going to see a lot of those types of recipes moving forward. Forward. For lunches, I am doing taco salad. I'm really excited for this, like really excited. Or for dessert, I am making a lemon cobbler. This is Troy's request. I probably won't eat this, but he requested something lemony, some type of cobbler, so that's what I'll be making. So you'll be seeing all three of these recipes on Monday in meal prep. Thank you so much for joining me on this week's WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing the shift in the foods that I'll be purchasing. Like I said, I'm not eliminating processed foods altogether. I'm just really, really restricting them. And again, focusing on a low carb, high protein, low fat, fiber packed diet, which will help with inflammation as well as keeping my blood sugar levels in check. So I'm really looking forward to this new way of eating. I feel really good about it. It's going to nourish and fuel my body, which is exactly what I'm looking for as well as benefit any health ailments that I have. So before you go, if you haven't already, get your hands on the 2022 calendar. It is almost sold out, so you don't want to miss out. I will not be ordering more. So definitely grab one before they are gone. Track your life, your goals, water, self-care, food, and exercise all in one spot. Don't forget about my four recipe eBooks as well as nutrition coaching. And please come over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you join that community as well. Thumbs up today's grocery haul. And if you haven't already subscribed, we'd love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you again to today's sponsor. Have a great Saturday and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye.